Hey guys, Ninja here, and welcome to the new series that I've been holding back for a while now. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year Edition, of course. And this is a game that I bought a while ago, and I bought it for me and Chip, and Chip played it. But, uh, anyways. We're gonna... What the fuck? Really? I had another game? Okay then. So here we go. We're gonna start a new game here. Let's go right into this. Wait. So here we go. We're just gonna start a new save and let's get right into this.
My boy, bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> 
this happen to me? You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. The curse finds us together within the walls of Arda. Say it's true. How do we break this curse? We find the one who cast it on us. The black hand of Sauron. Yeah. So here we go. Let's go! So this is where we learn to interrogate people and gain intel. True that, my dude. And here we are.
tutorial missions. Gold icons advance the story. Red icons display power struggles where Uruks compete for status. The reward is power to unlock new ability tiers. White icons represent side missions and collectibles. Reward is a Mirian to purchase upgrades. You have two available main missions. The Slaver, save the humans trapped within Mordor and find the Black Captains. And the Spirit of Mordor, learn more about Uruk's society and take down Sauron's army from within. So right now we have two things that we can do. And then we got all these stuff that we learn about. Alright. So runes and stuff, we have some starter runes here. Which will make things a lot easier. That will be useful. That'll be useful. This will definitely be useful when we fight captains. So, hold on. Alright, so now I'm gonna go and get this. The Slaver. An Uruk Slaver holds a captive with information on the Black Captains. Hunt down the Slaver, rescue the captive, and find out what he knows. You can identify captains. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. Archers. I must take out the eyes of the camp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate his archer. another ability point so we can unlock yet another ability we got counter enemies will be knocked backward stunned or knocked down and then we got aerial takedowns we also got time your landings for the little elven swiftness and we also got detonate now that one we're not gonna have to worry about oh yeah and we got where we could ride caragors but right now we're gonna go with this strike from above Take out his last archer. And there we go, we killed our first captain ever. And now we get ourselves a rune. Dead captains drop runes that provide bonuses for your weapons. Press right on the D-pad and view your weapons. You can slot runes into your weapons, select your weapons up to an R2 and X to review your, review your wound. R rune. Womb? <laughs> Equip runes into an available rune slot with X. You can upgrade your weapons with additional rune slots by spending Mirian. The one that we just got is recover all focus and all health for killing a captain or war chief. Now, don't worry about the war chiefs. We'll get those later. But this right now is actually pretty useless. 
and we could convert it into 50 million but we're gonna save it and we got more appendices which is people we got Uruk captains and then for lore we got battered slime I think that's how you pronounce it. Then we got awareness, ledge kill, and yeah. We got photo mode. Fifty million. Now we're gonna spend a little bit of time here and kill some Uruks to get some XP. Killing them isn't hard at all. Gonna get the guy in the back. And we're also gonna get him. Now we got yet another ability point. And now we can get that. Detonate or ride categories. Now I'm either gonna choose a ride Karagors, Elven Swiftness, or Impact. Elven Swiftness isn't gonna be used for this mission, it's just gonna be used to get from place to place. But right now I think we're gonna go with Hmm. Let's go with impact. Look at that. We finished up our ranger abilities right now. And we got more appendices. And there are also artifacts that have the same thing as the Ithlidens, where you can only be in the Wraith world to find them. Alright, now we got that. These artifacts hold memories of Mordor. Use the L and R to look for the memory. Then press square to reveal it. So you'll hear a noise and then you'll have to like look around to find it. And look, there it is. my life. 
life on the boundary of Mordor, thinking it was dead. Never knowing the stories it held. The land of shadow is awakening from a long slumber. Alright, now we're gonna do this mission that's literally right here. Because this will definitely get us some XP. You have attracted the attention of a mysterious creature. Track him down and discover what he knows of you. Sort of road it hides in the shadows. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers? For both of us. We should find them. It shouldn't be too difficult. And that's these tracks are not quite human. Yep. Not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. We're gonna free the slaves here. Right now, our thing has to go to the count of A before we can use an execution. Which an execution is an insta kill. The only things that it don't doesn't insta kill is war chiefs and captains. Now we don't know about captains or war chiefs right now. We'll, we'll learn more about them later. Right now, we're just worried about captains. Freed all the slaves. I am dead. Damn straight. Walls are no obstacle for it. Your creature's path is fraught with danger. Oh yeah, this is one of the funny things. They can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> Alright, now to heal, we got these little things right here that can restore our health. So now all of that damage that's been done to us has just been undone. The 
Bunch tracks lead us right into that catacomb cave. There, oh. it's on the run. Oh jeez. Hunters have got to be dealt with quickly. Now, another thing that we're going to want to take care of is this. Okay. Good. Now that the Karagor is dead. Sneak up on me so easily, eh? No! No, don't hurt us! Ah, it's time to do it. What does he know of it? Bright Master! Yes, we know hers! Bright Master came to us in our dreams. She. <laughs> And there's that mission. Ooh, an ability point. And on to get from place to place, we will get Elven Swiftness. Takes 320 to increase our max health a little more. 
And yes, that's what I'm going to mostly be worried about right now is increasing our max health. Kill. And we cleared out that area. Okay, I only got 200. And there's only 20 main missions in this entire game. <laughs> Why don't you come over here, Ranger? Don't tell me you're scared. This will give us plus 40 power, which is a lot. Okay. Sauron's Uruks relentlessly abuse lesser orcs in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the Wraith can exploit these struggles. Piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy forces from within. One orc mind in particular shines as a blazing beacon of weakness. The Spirit of Mordor. That's what that mission's called. Ranger. Come close if you want the black hand. No slave scum. I'll pour a poison in your ear. Oh, but you've got these ropes. Run back and tell you everything. Okay. Vulnerable to mounted beasts. Okay. Somebody's got to take his place. 
Somebody like Red Bank. So this Gorov is in charge? Of this gang, yeah. He's no war chief. They enter directly to the Black Hand. I'll show them all. Now I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Rat Bag's plan to become a war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. How did you get free, scum? <laughs> <laughs> You think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh, that explains the spell. Keep out of sight. I'll see that you're captain. Okay. But first, we're gonna see if we, uh, if we already reforged this or not. We did not. Now we have this area. Boy. Well, we failed our first mission. Can we restart? No. Well, we'll just let him raise the alarm and fail the mission. I found him! Alright, alright. That was my own fault. I didn't check to see if there were any other guys there waiting for me. This is what we need to do. We need to attract them. Damn it. 
climb the wall. There you go now. Ah. Let's get some intel on people, you know, like him. Ah, cool. Yeah! Alright, the Power Struggles Battle Reports will recap the events and shifting power of Sauron's army. And we'll press around the D-pad to view the Battle Report. I can kill one. I can kill them if I wanted to. All right, let's get the barrels now. Kabushka. Shattered memories. This creature, Gom, is drawn to the wraith who he calls the Bright Mastigger. Fate seems bound to his. But we're gonna go see what we can do with him.
He shows him, he shows him, and he rewards us. seems quick to lead us to danger. Knowledge of my past is worth any trial. Gonna go and get this thing. Quick, go back. Okay, well I guess we'll, we'll get that later then. Vision artifact. Where? There it is. These are not mere dreams. With each vision, my power grows stronger. Still looks after us. Rangers should go now. Very dangerous here. We wait at the ancient tower for him. Oh, fuck goals. Oh, fuck you up, my boys. Yeah, I didn't forget how to play this shit. Because I beat it not that long ago. 
since I have that other sand file. God, they just keep swarming in. Okay, this is the last bit of the swarm. the Wraith Flash ability. Now we can get the Ride Karagor's ability and we have our first tier for both Ranger and Wraith. And we'll get a Dagger Rune slot. And we are one-fourth the way through the game already. As much as I hate to say it, I think that is all the time that we have for this video. We are immune to the poison! Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. This is going to be an awesome series. And stay tuned till next episode. And as always, have a good one, folks. Bye.